what is up my loves welcome back to the channel i have done a lot of shit with my youtube channel this channel specifically i've been inspired i had to take a break i was like no we gotta do something that's fun that gets us excited and i was inspired to do readings so this youtube channel will be strictly for tarot readings and my other like mindset manifestation coaching content will be on like instagram or my podcast which is kind of like my personal t plus mindset stuff so anyway long story short we're here we are doing personal readings it might get a little bit screechy or too loud for you when it comes to the volume i raised up the volume of the microphone so that the sound quality would hopefully be better so i do apologize if it gets a little bit too loud but you know that you can always just lower the volume okay so i was like what do i want to do today's reading on and i figured i would do an oldie but a goodie a classic how do they feel about you there are three pals to choose from they're already on the screen timestamps will be in the description box down below i will see you at your reading okay what's up pile number one i'm trying not to be too loud with the shuffling It might be a little bit too loud at times. I've got the mic super sensitive right now. So just be mindful of that and turn it down if you need to turn it down. So we're tapping into the vibration. We're tapping into the energy of pile number one's person of interest. Oh my God. course I gotta move some shit around here so that I can see all right I'm doing a live shuffle calling in the guides Okay, the first thing that I want to look at is what's going on in this relationship, this connection that will help us to get a bigger picture. What's going on? We've got the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. So the Ace of Wands is a creative new beginning, a passionate new beginning. So maybe there's like a spark between you and this person. There's just some general interest. There's a little bit of desire or maybe a lot of desire because it's a pretty big wand, you know what I'm saying? But with the energy of the Eight of Swords, when it comes to the manifestation of the desire, there's some hangups. The Eight of Swords can be a card of insecurity. The Eight of Swords can be a card of like limiting beliefs, getting in the way, right? Thinking ourselves into um, a trap or stagnancy when we could just walk out of it, right? And then with the energy of the two of pentacles, that created some wobbling, some going back and forth. So what's happening in this connection? There was passionate beginning, some insecurity, and because of the insecurity, there's some wobbling. 
there are some going back and forth. Maybe you dated this person, then you stop dating this person. Maybe you guys start talking and you stop talking. This person's communication could be very on and off. Sometimes they're talking to you. Sometimes they're not talking to you. Sometimes they're interested. Sometimes they're not interested. So there's a lot of this going back and forth energy, wobbly energy. What the hell is going on? So it really makes sense why you would be like getting a tarot reading on them in the first place because yeah it's just wobbly and back and forth so let's see if we can get some clarity about this person on your mind excuse me the cards kind of did a million and one different things there okay so we got the seven of cups and judgment What's going on for pile number one? How does their person feel about them? For pile number one, how does their person feel about them? The page of swords and the moon. The seven of cups, judgment, the page of swords and the moon. The seven of cups, judgment, the page of swords and the moon okay before i pull more cards let's go deeper into this the seven of cups there's something going on here with options i'm gonna get a clarifier card for the seven of cups the seven of cups judgment judgment is a choice that we make this person is contemplating making a choice. That's the energy that I get here. There's a contemplation here of what choice should I make with the energy of the page of swords and the moon. How this person presents themselves and what's going on within them are not the same. The, the actions that this person takes and the way that this person feels are not the same. And that's why there's this energy of back and forth, up and down, what's going on, one second we're here, another second we're not in the relationship. Because this person... I wouldn't say that they're not sure what they want. I would say they're not sure that they can have what they want. Your person is somebody who doubts themselves a lot. And because of this self-doubt and because of this fear, they've talked themselves into stagnancy. So how is this person feeling about you? They're feeling worried. How is this person feeling about you? They're feeling afraid with the energy of the moon. There's the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So they're feeling afraid that this relationship is over, um, that this connection is done. But it's really this worry. Your person doesn't feel like they can bring this relationship together. And you could be watching this going, I don't understand I did this and this and this. I told them this. I said this and this to them. It's not about you. You know what I mean? Like, this person isn't having a relationship with you right now. This person is operating out of their fear. They're operating out of their childhood wounds. We really only have one person in the spread so far, and that's a page. A page can typically represent children, but I'm not saying you're dealing with a child. You're dealing with immature behavior. Pages are students. They're learning. With the Page of Swords, this is somebody who's still learning communication. And if they're an adult, it's somebody who didn't develop the skills of communicating, specifically with the moon here, communicating how they feel, communicating what they think, communicating what they need. This person didn't develop that skill and instead of choosing to develop th that skill right now, this person is really triggered in the relationship and they're um, 
not taking action. Okay, so how is this person feeling about pile number one? Ace of Swords. How is this person feeling about pile number one? Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Four of Wands with the Devil at the bottom of the deck. So the dominant feeling that I'm getting from this person again and again and again is fear. With the energy of the Ace of Swords, it's like they sit and they're in contemplation and they're thinking about you and they're thinking about all of the things that they could have with you. And then they have this like aha moment and they're like, oh, I want to speak to pal number one or I want to have a conversation with pal number one. And then this fear comes up with the seven of pentacles this fear comes up a fear of dissatisfaction a fear that things won't work out for them a fear that something is going to be taken away from them with the energy of the knight of wands this person is afraid that relationships will take their sense of self away from them and the reason why this person is afraid of that is because this person doesn't have strong boundaries they don't know how to have strong boundaries they don't have a strong sense of self so when they connect with somebody who they like which they do really like you when they connect with somebody who they like they don't know how to maintain their sense of self they try to become whoever the other person wants them to become in order to be liked and this isn't something that they're doing consciously this is something that they're doing subconsciously this is something that they've been doing subconsciously since they were a kid and so they've got a pattern of releasing their sense of self meaning like if you like astrology in this relationship between the two of you now they're going to get into astrology um if you want to go to greece for your honeymoon they want to go to greece for your honeymoon but they didn't really want to go to greece for your honeymoon they wanted to go to france but they didn't even bring up that they wanted to go to france or they didn't fight for the opportunity to go to france because of you know the fact that they're afraid that if they say they want to go to France and you want to go to Greece, that you guys will break up. You won't be together. And so that feels like suffocation in a relationship when they're making choices and decisions for you and not for themselves. It feels like suffocation because they feel this way in their relationships in all of their past relationships. And they have not done the internal work to release this pattern. They have not done the internal work to develop the skills they need to develop to have healthy relationships they have an association with relationships that says relationships will suffocate me with the moon and the four of wands they are afraid of getting into a relationship with you that's why things are wobbly that's why things are going back and forth that's why things are not moving forward this person is deeply afraid of getting into a relationship with you because they are afraid that they cannot be in a relationship with you while also maintaining a sense of self and it's not anything that you're doing it's just how they're choosing to show up in their lives it's not about you making a different choice, you showing up differently, you telling them that you don't have these expectations of them. That's a journey that they have to go on. That's healing that they have to do. That's a choice that they have to make. Um, and really, ultimately, it comes down to wanting to have a relationship. This person likes you. This person desires you. This person is interested in being with you. But this person, let's see, before I say that, let's pull just a few more cards. We have the Hierophant. We have Justice, the Three of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles that's what I was thinking so basically this person 
is a not committed to being in a relationship. They like you. They think you're great. If they wanted to be in a relationship, they would be in a relationship with someone like you. If they were committed to being in a relationship, it would be with you. But this person hasn't decided that they want a relationship. It doesn't matter if they say, I want a relationship. It doesn't matter if they say, oh, I want friends with benefits. It doesn't matter if they say, one day I'll be ready. This person has to genuinely and authentically be committed to creating a healthy relationship. They're not that. They're not that. They're not committed to creating a healthy relationship. They are afraid and that's where their focus is. They're focused on what they're afraid of. They're focused on their worry. They could have had a different relationship that was super duper deeply committed and they got cheated on. They got betrayed. They've experienced lots of interpersonal trauma. Your heart can go out to that person, but this person is not committed to being in a relationship and the relationship's not going to come together unless this person is willing to be committed to the relationship. Because if they're willing to be committed, if they're committed to having a healthy relationship, then they'll work through their bullshit. But they're not committed to having a healthy relationship because they're focused on their fear. They haven't decided that they want a relationship. They're just afraid. So that's what I got for you, pal number one. Hope that helped. I am currently offering tarot readings. The only place you'll be able to book with me ever is directly through my website that is linked in the description of this video. I've also got astrological readings. I've got um, nail chart readings for yourself, transit readings, and astrological synastry. So check that out. I also have many courses. If you're ready to connect with a partner who is emotionally available, a partner who is committed to relationships, if you're ready to clear out your shit and tap into the vibe of the healthy relationship that you desire, go ahead and check out my miniature courses, my how to receive course, my love after loss course. Those two would powerfully help you also my um my self-esteem course would help you too because a lot of times we stay in relationships with people who aren't giving us what we need because we don't think that we can find people who will give us what we need and that's a self-esteem issue so those courses are available those services are available you can find all of that good stuff in the description box. I love you so much. Comment like a green heart or something if you're from pal number one and I will talk to you in the next one. Alrighty, pile number two. I just, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I know that was loud. I just had to put something there on the screen. So that way when I'm doing the timestamps, I can know the difference. I didn't want to create thumbnails for each of the piles. So we're going to do the best we can with what we got. Okay. Pile number two. How does your person feel about you? Tapping into the vibe. A pile number two. Okay. The Ten of Pentacles, first card out. The Five of Swords, the Chariot, the Eight of Cups, the Three of Wands. Is that song by Drake titled Better Find Your Lovin'? That's the song that comes to mind immediately. Let me look at the cards before I pull some more. I was going to do, I was going to ask what's going on in this relationship before I got into their feelings. But hold on, we'll get into that later because I already pulled the cards and this looks kind of juicy. So let's focus. Ten of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Chariot. Eight of Cups three of wands so this person has been waiting for you this person has been waiting for you drake 
better find your loving. This person has been waiting for you. They, when I, when I say they have been waiting, I mean they have been waiting. Ten of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is the card of win at all costs, right? The vibe that I'm getting from this, followed by the chariot, this person is like, I'm going to get married. I'm finding my person. When I say I I highly get the vibe, strongly get the vibe, this person is looking for a marriage. This person is looking for commitment. We have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody who's very much like generational wealth minded. And it's kind of like, I can't have generational wealth if I don't have kids to pass down all of this wealth to. So you're definitely dealing with somebody who is very established in their career with the king of pentacles this is somebody who's very very established in his career or their career excuse me it doesn't have to be a man but i am getting a strong masculine vibe and energy here so it's like this person has a plan for their life this person has a plan for their legacy this person has a plan for everything that they are creating and they put a spot for you with the energy of the eight of cups the eight of cups we have everything you know that it it seems like we have everything that we should want but there's still something missing there's still one cup missing so we go into the darkness we go into the unknown to find that missing piece that missing cup and then we arrive at the nine of cups in the next tarot card in the Eight of Cups, he's moving, walking in the direction of the moon. Moon represents women. Moon represents mother. So again, I'm just getting a very strong vibe. Either you're a woman or you're a very feminine energy. This person is looking for a woman. This person is looking for a wife. This person is looking for a mother. I'm getting that energy very, very strongly. So it's just kind of like, okay, I got the things. It looks real nice. I've got a beautiful house. I have a lovely car. I'm doing great in my career. Everybody knows me. I've got a great reputation. This person has a really good reputation. Like this person is, they're very well known in their community, in the world, in their country, what the fuck ever. Like this person is very well known and they they have a plan so i'm also hearing the phrase like right on schedule so this could be the type of person who has a plan for what they're creating in their life and their plan is like i'm gonna reach my success by this time and then this time I'm going to get a spouse and then this time we're going to start having kids and then this time blah, 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 blah. Like this person created a plan, okay? So at some point ago, they realized I need to have a boo. I need to have my person. I need to have my wife. I need to have my kids. And then they waited. With the energy of the three of wands, they waited. So this person is waiting for you ready for you um with the energy of the queen of wands and the world i strongly get the vibe and the energy that you manifested this person into your life you called this person into your life this is a leveling up situation okay with judgment at the bottom of the deck you made some choices and decisions you could have made some hard choices and decisions right you walked away from everything that was no longer serving you they're singing scrubs by tlc you know that they are okay i don't want no scrub a scrub is the guy that can't get no love from me so you have this energy energy and this vibe so beautifully regal that it's just like you have this standard you have this standard you know what you want you know what you're going after and this person recognizes that trait within you they have that trait within themselves as well and they like that they're very attracted to that they're like yeah they're like yes they're like uh-huh they're like oh and that's wifey right there. <laughs> and that and that is my wife. Yes. The one that I was looking for. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, okay? Depending on no, I'm not even gonna say depending on. Like this is the type of person who has 
money put aside in an account, in a whatever, for their engagement ring, for their future home, for blah, blah, blah. When you really sit and have more in-depth conversations with this person, it's going to be like, yeah, I've been planning on this. I've been moving towards this. I've been putting money aside for X, Y, Z amount of time. I've been doing this and this and this. I knew that I wanted to do this. I've got a plan to sell this place. And with the money that I'm going to use from this place, we're going to do this and this and this. And that's just my plan for my life. That's how I always thought that things would go like some shit like that so this is somebody who has a powerful plan with the energy of the world here this person sees you as kind of like their world and it's the the energy and the vibe that I'm getting is like the whole package this is what I've been looking for this is what I've been looking for with the energy of the chariot the chariot is also connected to the moon so there's lots of moon sign energy here you can have cancer energy in your chart I'm also seeing Pisces energy fire sign energy of course we got um earth sign energy as well but the signs don't really matter the point is that this person feels intuitively um that the two of you will be very successful. There's very strong feelings of success here. There's very strong desires for success here, for making something work. Okay, I don't know if you watch pile number one. Probably not because this is like the complete opposite energy. But that's my point. My point is that pile number two is the complete opposite energy of pile number one. Pile number ones was like the guy who hasn't decided that he wants a relationship. So if there's a fear that comes in the way, if there's an inconvenience that comes in the way, he's ready to fucking run, right? Your pile, pile number two, is like the guy, the person, the energy, the vibe, that king of pentacles energy. It's staying power with the energy of ten, the ten of pentacles. It's my great, great grandchildren already rich word to Miss Carter. Do you know what I'm saying? With the energy of the five of swords here, it's like ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from you. Like this person is committed. <laughs> This person is committed. This person is deeply and completely committed to being in a relationship with you. This person is like, oh, we're going to make it work. But not in a way of like, oh, it's not compatible. So we're going to force it. No, I don't think that this person has a threshold. I don't think that this person has a willingness to suffer. This is somebody who cares about themselves. This is somebody who cares about their enjoyment of life. But this is somebody who they're saying the phrase like they know when they have something good they they understand when they have something good they understand when something is valuable they understand when something um is like kind of like a prized possession I guess you might want to say like they they understand when something is good this person is really good at like making investments okay this person is really good at assessing what's what's going on, what's good, what's worth putting my time and energy and effort into. And this person, after coming across you and getting to know you and connecting with you, they're like, oh, this is something worth putting my time, energy and effort towards. This is something worth putting energy towards. This is something worth dedicating myself to. This is something worth devoting myself to. This person is like, I have an understanding Oh, I need a breather. Hold on. Lord, this energy is intense. This person is like, I have an understanding that if I pour energy into pile number two, I will get the ten of pentacles out. I know that if I work towards stuff with pile number two, I will get something amazing out. This is the type of person not saying that you would need this, but before a breakup is considered, why don't we try couples counseling therapy, blah, blah, blah. Why don't we do something, something, something? This person is going to try stuff. This is the person who wants to talk stuff out. This is the person who, even if they're the type of person who's like in the middle of an argument or something like that, they're like, I need a break. I need a second to cool down. This is the person who's always going to come back and they're always going to like talk things out. They, they want to have a conversation. They want to understand. They want to connect like this this energy is so freaking good 
And I'm also hearing the phrase golden retriever. And with that, I don't necessarily mean like a golden retriever boyfriend vibe that I think is pretty like, it's like a kind of top, like a kind of popular archetype across social media. But by that energy, I'm just seeing somebody like throwing you know, like playing fetch with a dog, um, <laughs> not comparing your person to a dog, but it's just like the vibe, you know, like throwing something, telling the dog to fetch. And then the dog comes back every single time. Like this dog is coming back every single time beyond a shadow of a doubt. This dog is coming back every single time. No, this man is devoted. This human being is absolutely devoted. How do they feel about you? They feel like, oh my goodness, freaking gracious and then the freaking empress falls out of the freaking deck girl they feel like you are everything and everything is you okay they feel like what do you need i am here to serve you i want to give to you i want to pour into you i want to love you i want to support you i want to help you i want to nurture you i want to support you in getting from the queen of wands to the empress because the way that i have the cards set up it looks like it's going from queen of wands to the world to the empress the empress energy like i want to put babies in you or i want to create babies with you i want to create a family with you with the queen of wands you're somebody who's good at attracting stuff this person feels like they can amplify your energy and take your receiving like to the next level okay and now they're singing that usher song i've got plans for you no this person has plans for you this person <laughs> this person has plans for your future this person and it's not like this it's not a controlling energy it's kind of like if you ever get like a vision sometimes you receive a vision from the future you receive an inspiration they see it they see how things can unfold they see how they can be of service to you they see how your presence can powerfully be of service to them you know what they're not even really talking about that i mean like i guess they are you know what i mean it's kind of this energy and this vibe of okay like this is just one scenario okay but it's a scenario i'm getting very strongly Okay. Oh my gosh. So many messages coming. Before I get into the scenario, I have to say this because we have the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. I think this is somebody who's kind of been around the block. Okay. This is somebody who's dated. This is somebody who's been in relationships. This is somebody who has lost a love. It's kind of the energy and the vibe. I'm not saying that this is your scenario. It could be, but I don't get that energy at all. But it's the vibe of like, you know, when the guy breaks your heart or you guys break up and you're like oh I wish he would come back I wish he would come back ready or something and you have like that that fantasy it's kind of like this person coming into your life but there was no terrible breakup them treating you like shit you know what I mean he's just coming into your life stopping you before you get on the plane in the airport I can't let you leave my life I have to be with you I will do whatever it takes you know what I'm saying like okay what I'm trying to say is with the energy of the five of um, cups, this person has been heartbroken in relationships before. This person has done the heartbreaking in relationships before. They have been there, done that, got the t-shirt, bought property. You know what I'm saying? Like, they have fucking been in the cycle of disappointments. And I think they analyze themselves and they analyze the choices that they made previously in relationships and they realized wow i fucked around and lost some really great relationships and people because i wasn't willing to show up i wasn't willing to put in the work i wasn't blah 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 and i think this person realized what they wanted who they needed to be with in order to get what they wanted and they're like oh no this is never happening again lord jesus father god this person they might actually pray they might actually be some sort of religious spiritual they're like universe angels guides ancestors i'm definitely getting like a father god energy if you send me another bad bitch i will not fuck it up like <laughs> This person is praying to God, the angels, the universe, anything out there that is benevolent and loving. If you send me another bad bitch, I will not fuck it up. 
And I think this person has realized like the the power of growing alongside someone, of helping someone grow. I feel like this person is very invested in your potential. Like you do have this huge capacity to grow and expand and to be even greater than what you are, which you're already doing great. You're already doing amazingly, but they're like, no, I know that they can be amazing. I know that they're going to be amazing and this is something that I want to invest in period this is something that I want to work towards with them so this person is very committed okay they're very commitment minded and they kind of have that goal of like I want to have an amazing family what would fulfill me is having an amazing family what would fulfill me is having really healthy solid kids and it's like I know that I can't have really healthy solid kids unless I have a really healthy solid relationship and I can't have that really healthy solid relationship and really healthy solid kids unless I have a really healthy solid woman and so you come into their life and you are a healthy solid woman I'm just gonna say woman for the rest of this reading I like to keep it gender neutral but I'm getting a strong woman vibe okay so I'm just gonna go with it they're like, I need a healthy, strong woman in my life to give me this family experience that I want and that I need. So it's like, yes, they want to have this relationship with you, but this is like a family oriented person. When you met this person, you could have had conversations of like, oh, I really want to have a family in the next couple of years. This is my desire, blah, blah, blah. Like this person's not joking. Like they're not, they're not saying that because it's a popular thing to say. You know how some people, some guys will say like, oh, we'll have cute kids together. And they're just being like emotionally manipulative or some weird shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, it's like, that's not the vibe. That's not that's not what they're doing. They're genuinely and authentically like, no, I've been waiting for this. I've been praying for this. I am freaking ready. Thank you so much, God, for bringing this to me. I want to help her. I want to support her in growing and expanding. I want to love her and I want to nurture her and I want to help her to thrive. This person is really kind of invested in your growth and um, development and they just want to like really pamper you and like love you and like give to you like this person wants you to be very like relaxed like work less call in more this person is going to help you transition in whatever you're doing for your work they're just going to help you transition to where you're making even more than you already are and you're resting even more you're receiving even more and you're resting even more and you're just like pamper just like taking care of and like pampered okay anything else before we move on here oh this energy is so good anything else for how this person feels page of wands three of swords six of wands okay i feel like we're about done and i think that they're just reiterating that same energy and vibe of like i think both of you have had heartbreaking experiences in the past where you really had to learn that in order to have a healthy relationship you could not be walking around in your ego all the time refusing to admit when you're wrong refusing to change refusing to see things differently like i'm not somebody who uses the word humble in a complimentary way but this person is like really humble how do they feel towards you they feel humble they feel open they feel receptive i'm willing to get to know you i'm willing to talk with you i'm willing to connect with you i'm willing to show up differently i'm willing to support you i'm willing to be what you need me to be i'm willing to help you i'm willing to connect with you like that's a really that's a really strong vibe that i'm getting it's kind of like it's like the energy here is like this person feels so taken care of in their own life. They're like, it's time to take care of other people. So maybe they were having an experience or they were having experiences in the past where they were very like self-centered, 
Um, they weren't focusing on other people. They weren't giving to other people or different shit like that. I just, I don't know what the fuck kind of ego death your person has gone through, but they're like having the complete opposite fucking experience in their life. They're like, they're just open and they're just willing and they just feel committed. So I hope that that helped. If that resonated, let me know. Drop like a white heart um, in the comments down below. Let me know that you came from pile two. Thank you so much for listening. I've got tarot readings available. I also have astrology readings available. I can do astrology synastry between you and this person. Um, get even more personal. And I've also got some miniature courses on things like self-worth and self-esteem and self-love. So I highly suggest checking out the links in the description box. And with that being said, I love you so much and I'll talk to you in the next one. All right, pile number three. Let me get your deck here. I just had to put something up there on the screen so that I could see when we went from one pile to the next when I come back to do the timestamps. All right, how does your person feel about you? The first thing we're gonna get into really quickly is like, I need a summary. What has gone on in this relationship? All right, pile number three, summary. What's gone on in this relationship? Okay, seven of pentacles. Let's pull a couple more. We've got death. We've got the star, the two of wands, the seven of wands, the knight of pentacles, and the queen of pentacles with the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let me look at these cards. Put them out side by side to get the story. Talk to me, guides, angels, and ancestors. What's going on? Seven of Pentacles. Something growing and expanding, taking root underneath, but not really looking like it's growing and expanding. So the relationship was not satisfying or you're coming from a time in your life where relationships haven't been satisfying. So you've been going through a rebirth or there was an ending to the relationship and then there was a healing. I feel like this is you. I feel like this is talking about your transformation in relationships. I feel like you were unsatisfied in your previous relationships. So you went through some healing in your relationships. Like you did some intrapersonal healing. You went within. You did the journaling. You did the shadow work. You took yourself through this death and rebirth process. And you got some healing. You reconnected to your inner being. You reconnected to source energy. You stepped into your power. You might have started getting more like success and recognition in your job. You might have started focusing more on your job. And then there's this desire now to have partnerships, to have connection. It's kind of like you've got plans. Maybe you want to see the world. You want to travel the world. You want to explore, you want to know what life is like in a partnership, in a relationship with the energy of seven of wands. You said you're manifesting a person. You deliberately called a person into your life. And with the energy of the knight of pentacles, 
It's like this person came into your life and approached you and you're the queen of pentacles who's in this position of comfort and rest and just happiness in your life. Sorry if you hear my mother being loud in the other room. Um, so, hold on. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, so this person comes into your life and you're feeling a little bit worried and anxious because you did all of this work and all of this healing and the relationships of the past were so dissatisfying. So there's a little bit of fear of whether or not this relationship is going to be the same thing. So that's what I got for what's going on in this connection. Now let's tap into your person's vibe and see what they're on. Oh my God, the very first card out is the King of Pentacles, which is very good. So there could have been some worry and anxiety of like, is this person on my level? You could have had that dynamic in other relationships where maybe the guys that you were dating didn't have as much money as you or they didn't um they weren't as mature as you are they weren't as established as safe and secure with the energy of the king of pentacles i feel like how this man presents him is real genuine and authentic if you've been cheated on in the past i think that this person is very loyal loyal because there's a dog here or a wolf they kind of like run in packs and different stuff like that so i definitely get the vibe that this person is um serious and honest I feel like they've got a pretty good sense of humor as well. I feel like they're very well read. I feel like they're very intelligent. And I feel like they spend a bit of time thinking about you. We have this death card again. So maybe this relationship did end previously or they went through their own transformation with the three of pentacles not the three of pentacles death the three of wands the tower and the nine of pentacles for how is this person feeling about you Ace of Wands. The cards just went all over the place. I need a different deck. I don't like this deck. New deck. What's going on? Power number three person's feelings. 
Five of Swords, Hierophant, the World, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. Why do I feel like you broke up? I feel like this is somebody who you dealt with in the past. You broke up. They feel defeated in the relationship. Because they cheated and they were immature. The Empress, Eight of Pent Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, the World, Justice, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Swords. You broke up, then you leveled up because you're looking really good right now. Very successful, making more money, dressing in nicer clothes. And this person has either come and give you, given you an offer or they're wanting to come give you an offer. We got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. They're wanting to come and give you an offer. So they can have some celebration about you, with you. But there's something here. There's something here. The sun. The nine of pentacles. The page of pentacles. The two of wands. I mean the page of cups and the two of wands. So this is like a scenario that I kind of referenced in pile number two, where you broke up, they were on some bullshit, they were not committed, they were not willing, they didn't want to be in a relationship, all this stuff. And then you broke up, the relationship ended. You were like, well, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to do this bullshit, like whatever, live your best fucking life. And then this person... They felt really defeated. When you walked away in this relationship, they felt really, really, really defeated. They thought that they won by being able to, oh yeah, I'm a free agent now. I can do whatever I want. I can sleep with whoever I want. They thought that they had won. They thought that they had got the great bargain and then the relationship was really over and then they realize it's kind of like the grass isn't greener on the other side so they did some healing because we've got the star. The star came out two times with two different decks. So they did some healing work. I think they did undergo a transformation like you underwent a transformation. And with the King of Swords energy, I think that they're being honest with you about the transformation that they went through. I think that this person is genuinely and authentically seeing you as the Empress with the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, seeing you as very emotionally intelligent, open and available, seeing you as somebody who they want to be with, they want to offer something to Something about this person's communication could have like 
thrown you off? Could have made you feel like, are you being serious right now? Or are you just playing games with me? Or like, do you think that this is the same old shit? No, the two of you are in a completely different cycle. You're having a completely different experience with one another. I feel like your headspace is just kind of like, it looks good, but mm, I don't know. Because that's how I feel when I'm looking at these cards. It's like, I look at it, it looks good, and I'm like, yeah, this is right. And then I'm like, eh. but is it though? Because when you look at it a different way, you could also see... But I don't. I think that the 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 star represents healing. And I think this person with the ace of wands and the eight of swords, it's like you guys, pile number three, are like the after and pile number one was like the before. And pile number two just like is a different scenario completely. Pile number three, this is the scenario where... The person comes back and they're like, I've changed with the energy of the page of cups and the two of wands. I feel like you guys are on the fence about whether or not you want this person, but you do genuinely and authentically want this person and want to continue being with this person. And I do think that this person is committed to you. Or I think that this person has the desire to commit to you. And I think that the energy feels a little bit murky because there was heartbreak and heartache in the past that obviously needs to be processed and talked about and moved through. And I feel like they're seeing you as more like defensive. I think that you make them feel very happy. I think they have the desire to get into a commitment with you. And I think they feel insecure right now because they're really under the impression that they need to please you and make you happy in order to move the relationship forward. It's like they thought that their power lied within them doing their own thing, having their autonomy. They don't have to listen to anybody. And now they're kind of realizing it's like like they can't be in a relationship with you without your permission, which sounds like a really obvious thing to say. But I don't think that this person has ever been in a, a situation where they had to get, they had to convince somebody else to want them or to be with them or, you know, like, I don't think they've ever had to try in, in the way that they do now. So how do they feel about you? They feel a bit defeated, but they're trying. You know, it's like the phrase, I'm still alive, but I'm barely breathing. They're trying to make things work. They have the desire to make things work. I do get the vibe that there is a genuine, authentic desire to connect. I do get the vibe that they're being open and honest. I just think that you're weary and at the end of the day, it comes down to whether or not you want to continue pursuing this person or if you want to continue this relationship or you want to pick things up where they left off. Okay, one last time because we kind of talked about like what happened in the relationship and like I just don't feel satisfied with that 
how does this person feel? Like their feelings towards pile number three? Their feelings. We have the page of cups. Page of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, with the lovers at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person has love for you, like they have a crush on you, like they enjoy being around you. I feel like they feel intimidated because they kind of we're coming in this energy of like being childish and immature and you really like set a standard. They feel like you set a standard and you told them they need to rise up and give you what you want or else. <laughs> That's the energy that I get with the Queen of Swords judgment and the Ten of Pentacles. That's not really a feeling, you know? With the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this person does desire you and they do have a lot of really deep, like, loving feelings for you. With the energy of the Two of Swords, this person just isn't allowing themselves to go deep into their feelings and emotions. Because they're kind of like, well, if pile number three doesn't take me back, then it doesn't make sense for me to be sitting in La La Land being so happy and excited about, you know, how good I feel being around them, you know? And with the energy of two, the two of wands here, there's that like indecisive energy between the two of you. I don't think that they're undecided. I think that you're undecided. And because you're undecided, they're kind of like, I don't want to say anything, but we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Like this person obviously feels like they can have everything with you. It's an emotionally fulfilled home life, but it's also a financially fulfilled home life. It's safety and security and, you know, just something that is dependable and something that is sturdy. So they definitely have strong feelings for you. They definitely have strong desire for you, but I feel like they're not coming. They don't want to come across that way. They're, they, they don't want to approach you being like, oh, I have all of these feelings and oh, I love you so much and you're the greatest thing that's ever happened to me because they're kind of like trying to get over what happened in the past. Not they're trying to get over it, but they're trying to see if you're going to get over it or if the two of you will actually be together and come together. So they're kind of like feeling like a dog with their tail between their legs. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's the vibe that I get. I do get the vibe that they're open and honest. And that's all that I got for you. Hope that you enjoyed this reading. I am offering personal readings. You can use the links in the description box below the video. I also have miniature courses that you can enroll in and astrological readings for like the current transits, but also I could do a synastry reading for you and your person. So check all of that stuff out down there. Love you and I'll talk to you in the next one.